These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> All right, well, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here. And today, I think I'm doing my review for the Ether V2 Boro RBA. Had an Ether V1, reviewed the Ether V1, but I always had a little bit of wicking problems with the Ether V1. Ether V2, it's a completely different style RBA. And even my first few go arounds with the Ether V2, I had some wicking problems. I think I figured it out. I think I got to the bottom of it. But in order to see that, we got to go to the desk. Well, my original mission today was just a simple re-wicking. I don't think I've been wicking this correctly. And I'm going to try a different way. I know that Sam the Vape and Bogan does have his own, you know, wicking tutorial. And I haven't watched that yet, full disclosure. And I'm going to try my way first. This was going to go back in a pink crypt tank and back into the stubby. But then I remembered that I had this barrel kit and I saw these orange barrels up here. And then I remembered I have an orange tank and that beautiful orange Atlas. I believe this is the one for mouth to lung. This is the one for restricted lung. It's going to be an orange on black kind of day. You'll love to see it. These even have the Bogan skull engraved on them. Ether kind of sick with it. There's no O-ring there. That's just press fit in there. There is an O-ring here. So generally when I see this, I call it the tunnel technique and I'll wick it and then I'll pull the wicks through here and I'll cut them out here. And I think that's the incorrect way to do this. I think I need to treat this more like an RTA. So instead what I'm going to do is just measure and cut this like it was the deck of an RTA. That was actually pretty good. So that when I put this on and I get the wicks out of the way, yes. Eh, if this doesn't work, I'll just finally watch Sam's video. For the inside, yeah, vapors. This goes back on to cover up those threads. Sticking with the four millimeter airflow, love it. This is a Mums, M-U-M-S tank, and it is the only sliding glass tank that I even use anymore. Lining up the space shuttle. Boom, right on that O-ring, perfection. Seeing liquid right there on the wicks gives me hope. I'm actually gonna use this lock Locking nut drip tip combo off the Tycoon AIO. Remember that AIO? And bleh. Just hoping for good wicking. Hoping for no leaking, no dry hits. That's every vapor's dream. I love that sound. I mean, I guess no flooding too, no gurgling. You can't see this, but it's a 0.3, 30 watts, reading perfectly. I'm really hopeful this wicking keeps up. That looks cool. Black on orange, on black, on orange everywhere, and then stainless on top, and I think that's cool. All right, anyway, hey, normal view, go there now. And literally all I get now is just smooth, swooshy airflow. I get really nice flavor and even get a little bit of crackle from this coil that's in here. It's just a little bit slightly different way of wicking it than I'm used to. And that's honestly, that's truly and honestly on me. I saw the tunnel design and thought, oh, I, I definitely know how to wick this. I am a uh, professional vapor. I'm not sure if you know this or not. And I wicked it bad and I, and I just did and it was going dry, going dry, going dry. This has remained nothing but intensely, deeply saturated. I've had no leaking with it. Literally only, only a delightful restricted lung vape. In and amongst all of my fiddlings and usings with the Ether V2 over the last couple of weeks, I've gone back and forth between the big restricted lung. They do have some mouth to lung airflow pins in there as well as, you know, extra grommets and rubber seals for the Crypt V2 tank that it comes with. Yeah, one millimeter, 1.2 millimeter, 1.6 millimeter, two millimeter, 2.5 millimeter, three millimeter, 3.5 millimeter, and four millimeter airflow pins. That's a lot of airflow pins. And I don't know why he didn't mention that. I like the Ether V1 as a mouth to lung. I like the Ether V2 as a mouth to lung, but truly and honestly, I think it does better. At least I enjoy it more as that restricted lung. The airflow, I don't know, can maybe sometimes get a little bit on the sharp side, but that just seems to be the way that most boros go. The majority of the restricted lung boros that I have, that I've used, all have, with, I mean, there's some exceptions to this, right? But they all have a slight, just a little bit of sharpness on the airflow, and I think that's just because of the boro system, just because of the boro system. This is a, a solid, solid banging RBA. I guess I'm gonna hand out some banana stickers. I'm trying to think of literally anything I want to deduct banana stickers for, and I can't really think of anything. Maybe the airflow, 
being a little bit sharp in that restricted lung, maybe maybe that's like half a banana sticker. But, but everything else, you know, the fit and finish, the construction of it, it's easy to build, it's easy to wick, I'm getting banging flavor. I, Personally don't love the Crypt Tank 2 that it comes with, but that's, you know, you don't have to be married to that. I can use this in any Boro tank. Slidey glass, non-slidey glass, anything else. I, I, I kind of want to give it 10. I kind of want to give it nine and a half. And I'm just trying to like, you know, justify in my head doing some mental gymnastics. What are other Boros that, you know, I'm immediately trying to compare it to everything else I've ever tried ever. I guess I have in my head what a 10 banana sticker restricted lung Boro RBA would be and the airflow would be a lot smoother. So I think we're going to land with nine and a half banana stickers for the Ether V2. Honestly, my biggest gripe with this is that they even bothered calling it the Ether V2 because it's such a different RBA, it wicks different, it builds different, goes into the boro tank differently. Everything is different about this. Kind of would have been cool to maybe have the ether be a thing and then something new, something else. We get sick of sequels in every other facet of our life. I don't need to see 10 Fast and Furious movies. Well, and chances are if I keep going down this train of thought, it's going to turn right into rambling. So I'm going to stop myself and say, I can't tell you where exactly to get these and I can't tell you how much they cost, but I will say this, I've seen them in places for under $60. And one last thing is if you're watching this video and you still smoke combustible tobacco cigarettes, I know it sucks to quit, but it's literally never been easier. And all of the science says that you should. I believe in you. In the description of this video, I'm going to put some links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 